We just got our first rain here in SoCal, and you know what that means. It is California native plant planting season. So if you've been wanting to get wildflowers in your garden or you want to get a California native garden established, this is the time to get started. A lot of people make one big mistake when it comes to California native plants, though. They think native plants, native soil, I don't need to do anything to stick the plant in the ground and it's going to do fine. Absolutely wrong. OK, our California soils have been degraded immensely all over the state through colonization, through industrial agriculture, through urban development. The soil that you have in your yard is not the soil that these plants evolved to survive and thrive in. OK, so don't listen to some of these people who think that, you know, these plants will just do well wherever. No. Uh, there are one, there's thousands of native plants. They all have adapted to different microclimates. California has tons of different microclimates and different soils. So you can't just put any plant in any place and you need to do something to amend the soil a bit to get it up to a state. Yeah, like California natives don't want, don't need super fertile soil, but that concrete-like soil that has never been touched or uh, uh, cared for or watered for the last four decades, not going to cut it for any of the native plants, okay? So we want to do some prep. If you're trying to get the wildflowers established, you want to make sure that you've cleared out uh, any of the other invasive weedy plants that can compete with them or overtake them. Um, so what I would recommend is clearing those out, uh, watering the soil to germinate any seeds that are latent in the ground, then remove all of those, do a little bit of amendment, loosen the soil a bit with a fork, you know, get that first uh, about one or two inches of soil loose if you can, then broadcast your seeds. I've got further instructions on our product listing for our California native wildflower mix. And for your perennial native plants, you want to start with an actual uh, potted plant. We've got about 40 different varieties in our nursery right now. Uh, and again, you want to apply a little bit of compost after you plant and get some mulch over the ground. You also want to get uh, some supplemental irrigation, especially for the first year or two during the summer. You know, these plants will survive without water through the summer once they're established, but that's the key point. You got to get them established. And lucky for you, we've got a sale on our wildflower seed mix right now. We're selling in quarter pound, half pound, and one pound quantities. You need a good amount of seed to get a nice wildflower meadow garden established. And we've got, like I mentioned, the 40 different varieties of native plants. They're available in our nursery, or you can order them. We'll ship to you uh, anywhere in the state. Thanks.